Hey guys, in this video, I'm actually gonna cover a comment that was left in my last video, the Universal Magic Presets video. Uh, this person left a comment that was actually very intriguing. It's basically another method of how to make magic presets that can update universally across multiple fixture types. However, it doesn't actually use the magic function. To avoid confusion or over explaining that, let's just go ahead and hop in and kind of take a look at how that works. I'm gonna kind of go through it quickly because this, I'm not looking to do a full workflow video on this. However, I do want to show how well show how well it works. So let's say we take our spots group and let's take uh, this stage right position preset and let's make it a phaser by selecting our next arrow, selecting step two, and we'll make the stage left preset our second step. So we'll go ahead and store that. We'll clear out and let's swipe you down and open up the edit setting. And now let's start to mess with our matrix information. So we're going to, first thing we need to do is we don't want it to move. Let's set our speed to zero. I know we could do that inside the phaser, but I'm just going to, I'm doing it on this matrix window just because. Next thing we need to do is actually set our phase information. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than how you would in a, Think of it as a magic preset because the zero value the zero phase value in a phaser is not actually the first step again to avoid confusion i'm not going to continue to explain that we can go into that whole you know rabbit hole in another video but i do know that because it's two steps and i want it to fan out i'm going to say my phase from x is 180 and phase two is 360. So now when I exit out, I select my spots and I select that new preset. There they go. It's technically a phaser, but it's working as if it's magic. Now, again, the speed's at zero. It's not moving. That's part of the reason why it, it works the way it does. And then the, it's the phase information in the phaser that's creating that spread. Again, to show that it does work universally, if I turn those off and I bring those force S spots in the back that we did not use to make it, if I bring them to full, bring them forward a little bit, I can select that preset and it automatically will take. So you can use that in a recipe or you know store it as a hard value into a sequence, into a queue, however you wanna do it, it, it works. If you understand the gist of it at this point, you don't have to follow along with the rest of this video. I just want to go ahead and make a couple color presets just to show that it'll work both at, in two steps. It could You could use three steps. I mean, you, you may even be able to use up to 10 steps. Um, I just want to show a little bit more proof of concept on that. But again, if you, if you understand it already, uh, I won't hold you if you don't continue watching. Let me go ahead and get those spots back on. I'm gonna select the spots and I'll start with a two-step color phaser. So we'll say cyan first, then we'll say magenta. Now we're gonna see them going back and forth because it's a phaser. It's working as a phaser with speed right now. We'll store it, we'll clear out, and we'll go into edit setting. Once again, we'll set speed to zero. We'll set uh, start to finish, like phase, Phase from will be 180, phase two will be 360. Now, let's say I want it to be cyan, magenta, cyan. This is where you can continue to use the other functions in your matrix options. And I'm gonna say wings of two. So now I say spots, select it, and there they go. Again, just to show that it does work universally. Say, so let me take the four S's, let me turn them on, select them, and there they go. Now let's go ahead and make this a three step. Now I'm gonna use the cyan preset twice, um, but I would imagine it'd be pretty easy to do this across um, you, know, mo you know, multiple different presets. In fact, it wouldn't be easy. It's completely doable. Um, once again, let's take our spots. Let me turn them back on. Let's go. I'm gonna recreate the cyan magenta cyan, but I'm gonna do it as a three step phaser instead. So we'll do a cyan. Magenta, cyan, and then we'll go ahead and store this. Let's go ahead and swipe it down to our edit settings to affect the matrix. Speed zero. Now, because it's three steps instead of two, our 360 degree phase is now split into three sections. So it's about 120, you know, 
phase increments for each section. So I'm gonna start with zero and go to 240. I do believe those are the correct numbers we're about to find out. So I'll re-select spots, magenta, there we go. And it already takes. Brilliant, absolutely a brilliant new concept. Honestly, that was a lot faster than doing it with the recipes. There are certain functionalities that may be different. There may be different use cases. There may be certain times when the recipe function, like the last video may work better than this. There's times that this, out of its simplicity, may just it may just take the cake i mean honestly um there's always a use case for all all different types so if you ever have any issues with whatever try both you know you can you can just see what works for you but that is yet another method of how to make universal non-magic presets